Hello, I'm Andrew Plum. I'm a senior lecturer in medical imaging at the University College London and a consultant radiologist at UCLH. So the clinical problem that we'll be discussing is um, monitoring temperature during ablation of cancer. Increasingly, uh, cancer is treated with focal therapies. Rather than removing an entire organ, uh, we'll just target the relevant lesion, a metastasis in the liver uh, or a primary tumour in the prostate, for example. The way that we uh, treat these is usually with thermal therapies. We can heat the um, target lesion up using microwave or radio frequency or high intensity focused ultrasound, or we can cool the lesion down using cryotherapy. The difficulty with doing these clinically is that a lot of the time we don't know whether the temperature that we've reached is at the target temperature to kill the tumour. This is a real clinical problem and we're left to a degree using judgement rather than science to determine whether or not the target tumour has been treated successfully. So it would be a fantastic clinical advance if there was a rapid, highly accurate um, modality for assessing tumour temperature in real time. I'll now hand you over to my colleague Bradley who's going to talk about the technical aspects of this problem. Hi, my name is Dr Brad Treby and I'm an EPSRC Early Career Fellow at Department of Medical Physics and Biomedical Engineering at University College London. So one really exciting technology that we have in our arsenal to tackle the clinical problem that Andrew has introduced is photoacoustic tomography. So the basic idea is that we combine optics and ultrasound to derive a picture of uh, what's inside the body. And how this works is that you shoot near-infrared laser light into the body and some of those photons get uh, thermalized and they generate sound. And one really interesting thing about this is that the amount of sound that they generate uh, depends on the temperature of the sample. So by taking a photoacoustic image both before and during these uh, thermal therapies, then we can obtain a picture, a three-dimensional picture of what the temperature is. So using a laser uh, a little bit like this one, you would shoot it into a, a sample uh, or the human body, and then as that uh, sample is heated, you can acquire images, uh, thermal images, in, in real time. So one of the key aspects of the project will be to develop the actual technology to deliver the light into the body and to detect the sound so that we can obtain these thermal images. So this research will be done within the biomedical ultrasound and photoacoustic imaging groups at UCL, which have really led the development of this technology over the last 10 years. 